Five years ago, uh, it was a big part of our strategy was to increase our footprint within the country. Um, and we've not only increased our footprint just locally here in Gauteng in uh, the northwest, we've increased in Pretoria, Cape Town and Durban, as well as in the UK. And the uh, biggest thing for us, what's made us different to everybody else is not just our products and services, but also our staff that we have. Um, our staff is just, uh, synonymous in our industry in, in the best quality that we give to our clients. So that's been a massive driving force in that, and as well as our clients. Our clients are growing from the Gauteng Northwest regions and they're growing outside the country, and we're growing with them. So we're just offering that proper service to them um, when they need it. The technological innovations is a, is a great thing for me. Um, it's something that we've done a, a large thing on our stand. It's uh, a lot of people look at technological advances, they think it's gonna cost a lot of money, which in fact it doesn't. Um, we'd love to show you guys on the, on the stand and the biggest thing, there's, there's three things that we're gonna show. Uh, the first thing being our crane asset management system, where we can literally look at every single part of your crane and we can look at your breakdowns, we can look at your time sheets, we can look at your load test registers, as well as your lifting registers. Everything is digital. It's in the cloud, so there's no more files, paperwork, you get rid of all of that stuff that you've got to keep for five or ten years, and that's all accessed by the cloud. And you get real-time data from that, so you can look at your expenditures, you can look at which cranes are safe or unsafe, so the value add that that system gives you is, is synonymous, uh, and we are literally the leaders in, in that. Um, it's, in, it's an in-house uh, product that we've designed. And then secondly is our crane monitoring system uh, that not only we can put on our own cranes but we can actually monitor anybody else's crane, any other make or model. So we can tell them how, how many lifts the crane's done, uh, how many times they've overloaded the crane. So we can actually give the owner of that asset, the owner of that crane, the ability to look and see how their operators are using their cranes or abusing their cranes. So we can literally start getting a life cycle of, of each and every crane that's in their facility. So with regards to maintenance, obviously statutory, there's statutory requirements. The cranes have to be serviced every six months and load tested every 12 months. But with this in mind, we can actually look and see if that crane is actually being used within its scope or it's actually getting used with, uh, out of its scope. So we can then, I wouldn't say analyze it 100%, but we can look and see when those uh, duty cycles or, or the service levels are, are increased or decreased. The Gravity Ant is, is something that's extremely unique. Uh, it runs off 220 volts, so you literally just come in and you plug it into a, a normal plug socket and it uh, uses by means of electric. So you can literally, with its float mode, you can lift up up to 300 kilos with a finger and you can move it around and you have precision uh, maneuverability and lifting and materials handling that not nobody else can offer. If uh, the safety features are synonymous on it as well, you've got your overload uh, devices, you've got mechanical electrical overload systems on that, um, you can adjust the speeds. Um, it really is something that you can fine tune within each organization in each application. Over and above that, it uses Internet of Things, so very similar to our crane asset management system where you get dashboards and you can see how hard the crane has worked. This again, we can start seeing the life cycle of the rope. We can see how many times the crane has been overloaded or shock loaded. So it gives us so much information about that specific crane and what that operator is doing in that environment. With us, we, we are in a diverse uh, industry in terms of all the, all the industries that we work in. And what sets us apart is our customer. I mean, a lot of people would think that's just a blase statement, but it really is. You know, we are customer centric. We try to understand their needs. We understand how their processes flow. If we don't understand how their processes flow, we'll never understand how to meet their needs in their lifting or materials handling game. So we've looked at each and every client's aspect of that. And then we've gone in with the right products, as well as with the right teams in the right areas and to, to give that services to them. Our late father started this company in 1988, so the rebranding wasn't a, a very uh, easy decision, I should say. We, we've rebranded it. This will be the third time since its inception. But, you know, we've got to look at moving forward. As, as the brand's moving forward, we, we see how technology is moving forward. And, and the, the company itself, with our staff, uh, we've got people that's been working with us for over three decades. Uh, we just feel that with a new look, with a new design, with a new feel around it, it just updates our modernized approach. Um, and sets us apart. I think uh, with our uh, technological advances is not many guys out there, if, if any, are doing what we're doing. So the technological advances with us redesigning our logos, just shaping the future for, for a forward approach for the company.